Welcome to our video series on advanced Dreamweaver features and techniques. In this video, we'll look at adding Excel spreadsheets to your web pages. Now, with Dreamweaver, you can also import Excel documents directly into web pages. So, let's just start with a new blank web page. File, New and choose Blank Page, Page Type HTML, Layout None, and let's stick with the older HTML4. Create. Okay, all you need to do is File, Import, Excel Document, and let's choose Demo.XLS. I have it on the desktop here, and again, we can choose a number of options. Text Only, which brings just the text and no formatting at all, not even paragraphs, or text with structure, or basic formatting, and full formatting. So let's go with text with structure initially and see what happens. Okay, it creates a structure, and of course with Excel, since it works with spreadsheets, the format is often in a table format. So that's what you get when you import into Dreamweaver. So here's the text, but with no other formatting at all. So let's select all, delete, and once again, file, import, Excel document, demo.xls, and let's choose text structure full formatting. And OK, it's importing it. And now we get the same table structure, but we get the full formatting as well. For example, here in Excel, I gave this entire row an orange background. And if we scroll down, okay, this one has a red background. And then the table structure with borders, with colored cells, and so on. And if we just go to Code View to see how it looks. Okay, a lot more code is needed for this than when importing Word. As you can see here, in the head section of the document, there's a lot of style that's defined here. A lot of CSS code. And if we scroll past that, okay, a lot of formatting, a lot of options there. Let's go a little faster. And OK, finally, when we get to line 704, we get to the body section. So Dreamweaver here has created the table and pretty standard HTML code. And because of the number of cells, it's a table with uh, several columns and many, many rows, so you see lots of TDs, TD tags, table divider tags. And table dividers, of course, break up the columns. And lots of TR tags, table row tags. And here, for example, TD tag height equals 49, so 49 in height. Class equals and that's bringing in what style. You can see it here. You can see the style here. And actually, if we click there, escape out of that and click Style again, this is showing us all the styles defined for this document. And all these styles are automatically defined by importing an Excel spreadsheet. It makes the whole task a lot quicker rather than creating such a complicated document from scratch.